Now we're going to discuss some of the scanning techniques that can be used in Nessus. Now when the Nessus interface starts, it'll start you on the Results tab. Click over to the Scans tab and then select New Scan. Now the first scan that we're going to perform is going to be a scan on a single host. So we'll create a scan title that reflects that. And then we have a couple different options under Scan Type, both Run Now and Template. We'll choose the default for now and then discuss the other option later. Under Scan Policy, we have several different options. Once again, we'll discuss those in more detail later. We'll go ahead and go with the default for now. And then under Scan Targets, we'll enter the IP address of the system that we want to perform the vulnerability scan against. And then click Create Scan. This will immediately launch the scan against that requested host. You can then click the scan and see the results begin to populate here in the host summary. Okay, now let's switch back over to the Scans tab, and we'll stop this scan by selecting it, and then clicking the X icon over on the right side. And now we'll create another scan, this time for multiple hosts. So we'll select New Scan again, and then create a scan title. And then once again, we'll go with the defaults on Scan Type and Scan Policy. And here I'm going to demonstrate that you can enter as many IP addresses as you want here, just separated by a carriage return. And it will perform a scan on each of those different IP addresses. So then click Create Scan. And then click on the scan. And you will notice that each of the IP addresses specified will then be scanned and the results will populate here. You can also perform a scan on a sequential list of IP addresses. So we'll use a scan title. And then we'll do our range of IP addresses, so 0-255, to scan that entire range of 256 addresses. Then if you click on it, you'll notice that Nessus automatically discovers each of the different hosts within this range and then begins to perform analysis on them. You can also specify a network range using slash notation. So this time we'll specify our entire Class C range using the network IP address and then slash 24. Another option is to import a list of IP addresses using a text file. This time instead of listing scan targets here, select Browse and we'll select our IPList.txt file and then click Create Scan. This will launch a vulnerability scan against each of the different IP addresses that were listed in that text file. Now we'll discuss the option of creating a scan template. So once again, we'll enter a title, and this time, instead of selecting Run Now, we'll select Template. And we'll do our list of sequential IP addresses here so 0-255, and then Create Template. Now this time, instead of launching the scan immediately, it creates a template in our Templates tab up at the top. We can then browse back to this at any time to launch this scan as many times as we need to. To do this, go ahead and select the scan, and then select the Options drop-down, and then click Launch Template. Doing this, you can perform as many instances as you need of the configured scan template. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.